So we have a Mavic 2 Enterprise Dual. It is the Enterprise version that has the thermal camera as well as the regular camera and just basically see a little bit of what it can do. Not going to go into all of the settings and features and functions and fine tuning and all that. We're just going to fly over and just have a brief demonstration of what it's capable of. So with the regular camera, we can fly over and we can see it's nice, crisp, clear. Got a good, good video there. We turn over to thermal and you can see we have heat radiating off the houses. A lot of that heat is coming from the sun. Uh, a lot of that is facing south where the sun is warming up the rooftops and you can see where it's, it's the hottest. This is relative temperature. It's not going to be actual temperature. Back to visible. We have a nice view of just flying over city streets, nothing specific. Generic drone footage here. Now if we go back to thermal, we can see it's a pretty fuzzy image. There's not really any definition there. What MSX does is it actually adds contrast and adds lines to what you're looking at. So you can see the difference there. Much, much better image quality. You can really see where the houses are, where the sidewalk is, where the cars are. Look in the back here, you can see a dark house that's not being used. You can see how dark that is where there's no heat coming from it. Now let's turn around. Something interesting you can see is we're going to compare two cars, one that's been sitting and one that's been used. And you can clearly see which one's been used. The engine bay area is warm. On the clear visible image, you can't tell any sort of difference. But if we go back to the thermal, that's really where this thing shines, as you can get a lot of interesting information based on if you're looking for like a roof inspection or if you're looking for a missing person or you're trying to find this, that, or the other thing, any of the zillions of uses. If we look out into the distance here with straight thermal, it's not really focusing on anything, so it kind of washes out a little bit. So we go back into the visible in the daytime, and you can see everything very, very clearly. Nice view of the city over there. Nice uh, little landscape picture we can see. Go back down to the traffic on the road there. We'll get back into the thermal. And we will see it is relative temperature. So even though you can see the cars moving and the outlines, you won't be able to necessarily see the heated engine bays because they're kind of being overshadowed by the, the roofs of the houses there. So it's not really tuned in to look for cars right now. It's just kind of kind of there to show what's hot and what's cold. And we are going a little bit over 30 miles an hour. So we're actually passing some traffic right now. So here's a couple quick examples of it tuned into heat signatures for people. If you're looking for somebody for whatever reason, this is just me walking around in a parking lot. You can clearly see that the human shape is visible. Here's another palette of colors to work with tuned into similar settings. You can clearly see that I am visible in contrast to the parking lot. Here is just a couple cars at a drive through You can see the engine bays are hot. They're waiting to get some food. You can see that street light down there that's on. And you can see in the back there that there's somebody that they probably already got some food and now they're just eating it in the parking lot or something. What MXS is really good for is in the high contrast areas, it'll add lines and it'll actually allow you to read things in the dark where this billboard would otherwise not be visible, it allows you to actually see what's on it. So if it's a license plate or a street sign or a billboard or a company name or the side of a business, whatever, you're able to read that with that function. Another cool feature is the spotlight that's on here. It's remote controllable from the actual remote, so you can turn it on and off in flight and it is just insanely bright. It's hard to capture just how bright this thing is through the video because the camera will only pick up so much. Um, and it is also adjustable brightness. You can turn the brightness up or down from the controller while it's in flight. So if you're searching for something at night, it is definitely a very, very nice feature to have. So this is to simulate if it was a house fire or something like that. 
or if there was a forest fire, you could uh, easily fly over and see exactly where it's at. Since you can set up alarms, and it'll actually buzz at you when you reach a certain temperature range. If we fly up to about 400 feet, it would actually alert us, and you can see how easily visible it is. We could cover a large area in a short amount of time and find exactly where the hot spots are, send out the right resources to the right places, and knock it down pretty quick. So you can see just how useful it would be for something like that. Another cool feature is every time you take a picture or video, it records it automatically in visible and thermal. There's a lot of features, accessories, and functions to this drone that I have not included in this video. I'll try to put out some more stuff for you guys, but if there's anything specific you want to see, let me know in the comments.